what is the best electric car for me? That's the question that I was never able to answer until now. I have published an app in the ChatGPT store. Now, it's called GPTs, so you can go into the Explore GPTs tab and look for my app that's called EV Buyer's Guide, and you don't even have to install it. You just click on it, and here it is. And then there are some conversation starters. You know, should I buy a Tesla? How much money? an electric car is going to save me, what's the best electric car out there. But, you know, to answer the general question, usually people start with a price and they want to know, you know, what, what does it take? What are the most affordable electric cars? So let's explore that. So we'll click on this conversation starter, though you can start by asking it really any question. And then, as you can see, uh, Nissan Leaf has been in number one spot, has been the most affordable electric cars pretty much ever since they were being produced before Tesla. So kudos to Nissan for sticking with the most affordable price. And now Nissan Leaf actually looks pretty decent. Um, then uh, there is, of course, the Kona EV, which again, the OG, still a pretty decent electric car. There's even a Volvo now there for EX30. But... Uh, this uh, this is a list for America. Now, because you guys probably live in America and Europe, let's do a bit of an experiment. And now it's going to ask me for my name, of course, because, you know, this is this is a customized app. But next is going to ask uh, where you live, which is, of course, important because everything from the pricing to available models to the electricity prices to the incentives, everything depends on where you're at, sometimes down to a specific county even in America. But... Just as an experiment, I, you know, I live in Bangkok, so, and you guys can kind of check out what kind of cars we have here that you guys don't have over there. And I already made a separate video from, uh, from literally the streets of Bangkok right in front of my condo here, so you can check out all of the cars that I see every day. Um, let's, let's explore the cars here. That way you guys will see how easy it is to learn about electric cars if you know nothing about them because you really don't know anything about cars here in Bangkok. So we'll go with Bangkok. So as you can see, it tells you right away that these cars are very different here, which is true. We have amazing uh, electric cars from China and really around the world, but specifically what you guys don't have over there in America and most parts of Europe are all of these very affordable electric cars from China. As you can see, we have Thai bots as uh, currency here. Um, Thai bot, I should say, I should know that. Uh, and uh, it's about 32 Thai bot to $1. And I'm once again going to ask for the top five most affordable ones right here in Thailand. All right, so these top five most affordable EVs here surprises pretty much nobody who has eyes and has been outside lately. Um, as you can see, the cheapest one is at about 12,000 American dollars. That's before the incentives. So, and then the rest of them are still very, very affordable. Now, of course, it's gonna give you some quick notes about you know, the electric revolution has not completely taken over Thailand. So there are some nuances with charging, though I see charging stations everywhere now. It's kind of like, you know, five, six, seven years ago in, in America. And people are excited to see this. By the way, there is no uh, political bullshit about, you know, anything really, but specifically electric cars. People know that they like breathing. And here in Bangkok, Right now, we, we have a, a, a high pollution season that starts, and nobody is going to argue about the products uh, that are government incentivized so their children can breathe. So no one talks about it negatively. Everybody is just kind of excited. These cars are very good looking. Some are very cute. Some of them are you know, just gorgeous, and, and the prices are low. A lot of people buy them so they can do Ubering here. We don't have Uber, we have other apps here, but, you know, ride sharing. Um, and the, everyone's really excited about the charging stations because they're very different companies here who put them together and they're very beautiful. So, but all of this information is here and this is how I've programmed this app. Now, by the way, in my case, uh, and this is why 
I wanted to create this ChatGPT app. So you're not getting like general answers from ChatGPT because when uh, you see the pricing and you see in the information about each car, I wanted to make sure that when it comes to charging, the numbers are in like miles gained per hour, right? And the percentage gain over a certain amount of time when it talks about uh, the charging. Because a lot of times it's like, oh, it's a 200 kilowatt charge. Nobody gives a shit. People need to understand how many miles they gain per how many minutes or hours. And that's how I configured this app. So every, even a beginner consumer can understand very quickly what these cars are all about when it comes to charging. All right, now if I ask uh, which one of these five cars has the best range, there is no surprise there. It is MG4 EV. I see them on the streets all the time. A lot of people like using it for uh, ride sharing. So it's 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 very affordable, but has a pretty good range, especially here in, in the city where we have a lot of traffic. Um, then of course I can ask about the incentives, which we do have here in Thailand, and then we'll explain those. Um, then I can talk about the used cars, which, you know, it, it doesn't have a good answer because we don't have that many used cars here, electric cars, because, you know, majority of these cars just came to this country pretty much when I arrived a little over two years ago. So we don't have much of a used car market. But if you're in America or Europe, that's another thing that I've configured this app to talk about is used cars, because sometimes people's budgets, you know, um, are not, you know, high enough to afford what they want out of an electric car, but there are plenty of amazing used electric cars there. So, and many, many other things I've configured specifically to customize it and to explain this in very, very simple uh, terms that, you know, a lot of people need in order to make a good decision about, you know, what usually is the second most expensive purchase that they make in their lives after obviously their houses. So, um, Feel free to use this app. It is free. It is already part, part of your uh, chat GPT, which again, I think everybody already uh, uses. And this is the first time you have an actual EV buyer's guide slash advisor um, in, powered by me, Alex Guberman, that you can you know, talk to, uh, bring uh, to a dealership if you care to actually go and test drive, which you really should. Um, and this is the first time in 10 years. AI plus Alex Guberman equals your good choice in picking your next or very first electric car. Now, I know I haven't done this channel for about a year. I switched to doing a, a different channel, which I thought would kind of get me canceled everywhere else, but it sounds like nobody cares. So, um, I, you know, I had a lot of people asking me about electric cars here. So I made a couple of videos and some of you people still remember me for some reason. You wanted more videos. So I figured, all right, let me make this app and create this video. Um, you know, if I get probably a, a few more comments about this. I, I will do a quick life update because for some reason you guys still care about that. So I will, and I got to tell you, it is, it's probably going to be an entertaining story because, you know, moving from America to Thailand is, is, has been definitely an experience. And I, I, one of the best decisions I've ever made. So I, I wish there was a guide for that. I'm working on another GPT specifically for that. Uh, so if you guys want, I can do a quick life update and I have a few more videos coming out about specifically some of the electric car models that you've never heard of, but are really amazing here in Bangkok and in Thailand. So I hope to see you over there on ChatGPT uh, using my app powered by my thoughts and experience of 10 over, over 10 years. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.